Hey everybody, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So my name is Samantha and I am the owner operator of a two acre farmstead located in Southeast Louisiana. Guys, I have so many great videos for you today. Today's video, we're gonna cover everything from what is Labor Day all the way to why did Black Rock buy upwards of 10 million people's DNA. And that boiling fluoride water turns it into fluorine and so many more topics. But I wanted to start with saying happy Labor Day. And for the ones of you who don't actually know what we're celebrating today, we are celebrating the fact that we don't have to work 80 hour work weeks anymore, unless we choose to. See, all the way back into the 1830s, workers didn't have the protections that they have today. So over time, you saw a grouping of, well, politicians who got in on the bandwagon when they realized they'd bring them more votes and people fighting for the right to have sick days, vacation time, personal time, weekends off, better pay, less dangerous places to work. Of course, you know, we live in a consumer world and they weren't going to miss the opportunity to give you time off to spend the money you had so you had worked so hard for. So remember that even though we are thankful for the work environment that we have in today's society, we weren't given this because it was, was best for us. We were given this so that we would go from producers to consumers. I know so many people like to complain about living in America, but I mean, your option is living in China. I'm achieving success is increasingly being attributed to connections and a rich family. But while more Chinese people are doubting that hard work is the key to success, China's elites are pushing them to work harder than ever before. Chinese leader Xi Jinping has been calling on Chinese people to struggle and told them to embrace hardship, which is convenient since he's giving them so much of it. From China's leading industries, there's been similar rhetoric. In April, the CEO of one of China's leading car companies openly talked about his own employees suffering through COVID infections and missing the births of their children because they had to work on the company's new car model. And in May, this exec at Chinese tech giant Baidu said in several videos that her employees should not expect weekends off. They should have their phones turned on 24 hours a day. And if they complained about her, she would make sure they wouldn't get another job in the industry again. Which sounds more like a favor than a threat after how they're being treated. Cyanide taste tester sounds like a more fun career path than this. So with many Chinese people facing high demands with a sense of diminishing rewards, they've begun describing themselves as part of a distinct social class called humerals. It sounds better in Chinese. The term first appeared on Chinese social media at the beginning of last year, and it quickly caught on. In the original post, a humineral was described as a person who is a resource, not a protector. Just remember, as you're celebrating today on Labor Day, that you are a humineral. You are another resource for the elites to plunder, pillage, and overuse, folks. Because we always know it is always about money with the politicians and with the government. Same with the unions, folks. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of back history of why are we even celebrating Labor Day today? Now, having said that, let's start this clip by showing you guys how dangerous snowboarding actually can be. <laughs> Oh, the fact she can't even hear her. Nah, bro. She can't even hear it. That thing is breathing. Mm. One mistake. She's here. Oh, oh, bro, he's face. done it. Yeah, one mistake. It's, it's game over. Nah. Who had? Oh, he stopped. Like I said, woo. Yeah. Still singing Rihanna, you know. When she looked back at that, she must have thanked her stars, boy. When she got home and reviewed her GoPro footage, she almost passed out. I mean, she was within feet of being eaten by a very angry grizzly bear. Now, guys, I've been hearing some rumors and some gossip about these monkey statues popping up all over the United States at the same time 
monkeypox has made its entry into our country. And they're right. But first, let's start with what's going on with Texas. So guys, we need your help. We need you, if possible, to send $1 to help us advertise the new book that's going to the publisher on the 3rd of September. Can I tell you how excited Leslie and I are? But you guys already know, YouTube doesn't pay us. So your $1 helps me continue to make videos and will help get this book out to everyone that's gonna need to read it. So we know what God says about false idols, folks. And look at Exodus 24, you shall not make false idols okay this is america we are a christian country there's no need for this but it goes so much deeper guys because we are in a spiritual battle and we already all know that so look at this okay we got more monkey statues popping up across the u.s this time it's in san francisco see no evil hear no evil speak no evil well would you look at that same as the Apollo mission astronauts. I wonder if there's a connection. Just in time for monkey pop. Now we have these strange monoliths that we were putting up with in 2020. They're popping up again, folks. Here it goes. Found on a hiking trail in Las Vegas, but let's back up for a second. In late 2020, monoliths started mysteriously appearing all over the world, from Utah to Romania to downtown Las Vegas. The catch? No one saw who put them there. Naturally, the internet had a field day with theories of art installations, pranksters, and of course, aliens. Utah officials even reminded the public that using, occupying, or developing public lands without authorization is illegal, no matter what planet you're from. Over less than a month, 23 monoliths were found before the phenomenon stopped as quickly as it started. But now it might be back. The one that was just found in Las Vegas looks just like the ones from 2020, and officials say how it got there is a mystery. And this isn't the first one to pop up this year. Back in March, a hiker discovered a similar object on top of a hill in Wales that could only be reached on foot. We know recently that BlackRock, or Blackstone, it's the same company, folks, bought out Ancestry.com. Now, when I told my mom this, who is 81, she was like, oh my gosh, your dad and I did our DNA. What are they going to do with our DNA? Even my 80-year-old mother knew to be concerned when a company like BlackRock buys somewhere upwards of 30 million people's DNA. What are they going to do with it, folks? Now, they claim they're not going to do anything. That they simply bought the business for the subscription rate so they get monthly for you to continue digging into your historical ancestral family lineage. But guys... Come on, nobody's sinking this much money into a company and not expecting huge returns. So what is BlackRock gonna do with that much DNA? It's definitely a question we should all be asking. And I want you to watch this video because I think I might have found the answer. The mutation of the cells. What causes the mutation of the cell? The mutation in the DNA. What causes the mutation in the DNA? <laughs> Genetically modified food can do that, and so can these other things. The primary fish that people like to eat is salmon. What people didn't just recently found out about salmon a couple of years ago is they make a genetically modified version of it. Did you know that? Uh -uh. Many people have complained on the internet about how the fruits they buy look and feel fake. I was just about to make me a healthy snack, and I cut into a strawberry, and guess what happened? Y'all, these strawberries are fake. Look at this. Look at this. Look, I want y'all to look at this. I want y'all to look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Don't eat no fake. It's not even breaking, like at all. Like it, and I know you guys can't feel the texture. On Into something far from their original form. The called GMOs are done uh, by changing the genes of the plant. And it's done in a way where there's a very thorough safety procedure and it's pretty incredible because it reduces the amount of pesticide you need, uh, raises productivity, uh, can help with malnutrition by getting uh, vitamin fortification. If you look on the label and look at what's in the food, you don't understand all of that chemistry. When you read it, you know it's chemistry. Absolutely. But you don't know what it is. Yes, sir. 
And most of that is to make the food. Now we know they're jacking with our food. We know they own our DNA. No, no doubt about it, folks. What about the water? I'm just, uh, I have to ask these questions because I love you guys. So real quick, take, take a second, make sure you are still subscribed. Hit the like button and let's talk about the fluoride in the water, folks, because this, this little bit is going to blow your mind. Fluoride in it. Uh, mm. You go to a restaurant, you say, I'll have a glass of water. That's fluoridated water. Everywhere you go, they're giving you that fluoridated water. Uh, some bottled waters also have fluoride in them, so you have to be careful what bottled waters you get. What are your favorite? What drink. are your favorite bottled waters? If you even drink bottled water. Yeah, I do sometimes. Saratoga is great, and Mountain is great. Those two. Uh, Fiji is also pretty good. So okay. those are the top three bottled waters that I drink. The first two I named, Saratoga and and Mountain, come in glass bottles, which I love. Mm -hmm because you get away from plastic that way. Mm. Fiji, unfortunately, does come in plastic, uh, but you wanna make sure you don't leave your bottled water in your car in a hot summer. When you leave bottled water in a car or somewhere where it's hot, the BPAs, which was petroleum, leach from the plastic into the water, and then you drink the water, and they did studies, extensive studies on this now. It's been now mainstream news that drinking bottled water stored in your hot car will give you cancer. Ooh. So you think you're doing something healthy and you're still killing yourself. So get away from the fluoride and get a, um, a water filtration system for your house. If you can't afford that, try to at least uh, get a filtration system for each for each faucet, one for your shower head and one for your drinking water. If you're not buying bottled water, because when you take a shower, your skin is taking in your skin as an organ is taking in about 40 to 50 percent of whatever's in that water. Mm. So we know that in the water is fluoride, pharmaceuticals, now high levels of pharmaceuticals, and other toxins. Including so we have BlackRock buying all these people's DNA. We have Bill Gates spending billions of dollars in genetically modified crops. Anybody else see, see a problem with all this, guys? What if they're creating food? Now, this is just a what if. Just a what if. What if they're creating food that genetically doesn't mesh well with a certain demographic in your population? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. What if they decide they need people to have anaholeptic shock? Just a certain demographic in a population. What if... The fact that Americans are not real fond of euthanizing our elderly. So you've got too many people aging out and going on government assistance in their last years. And you need to reduce that population drastically. And you've got all the DNA. And you've got all the genetic material for the food. I'm just saying... I'm just saying. So let's stop it right here and just kind of review real quick. What is he talking about? He's talking about the fluoride that's found in tap water, city water. Now, guys, I do want to make a point real quick. If you have well water like I have here in southeast Louisiana, it's not as bad. You can easily and inexpensive get your water tested for toxins and heavy metals. And I encourage all of you to do that, okay? Because well water is not being overseen by the city. So you don't really know what's in well water until you take time out to test well water. All right. And most of you know that I've been writing a book. And that book is what is going on in the sky. What is the government and the corporations doing to us little people, us useless eaters here on earth? And they are dumping heavy metals and toxins at you guys. If you just truly understood how much they were dumping on you, you would understand why your children have food allergies and no one in your family had them before. You would understand why your children keep breaking out in horrific rashes when nobody's ever been allergic to anything in your family in your entire history. You would understand why so many people have celiac disease and Crohn's disease and gestational diabetes and arthritis at younger and younger ages. You would understand why you have a child that's dyslexic or autistic 
and no one in your family was ever like that before. It's coming from all of these toxins. So let's hop back into this video because it's really important that you hear what he's telling you not to do with your water. You can't boil water. Don't boil your water. Some people try to shortcut boiling water. Boiling water is worse than drinking the tap water because if you remember from chemistry class, some people probably didn't study this, but when you boil water with fluoride in it, the fluoride converts into fluorine and becomes 10 times more toxic for the body. It's a neurotoxin at that point because the molecules shift. So you don't want to ever drink boiled water. That's the worst thing you can ever do unless you mean it's an tap extreme water. emergency. Yeah, not okay, boiled tap, tap water. water that's what you mean. Okay. So yeah, somebody's using like their water. water bottle and putting their water bottle in in you know um, in a pot to boil, or if they're using their filter water, are those things a bit better? That's better. Those are better. Yeah, that's better. If you're cooking, like people like to cook with water from the sink. For mm -hmm. some reason, they don't make the connection. If I put this water from the tap, oh, I'm cooking it. It's going to be boiling. That's going to make it better anyway. What they're doing is they're making a toxic soup. So you don't want to like put your spaghetti in a pot of water from your sink and boil it. You just created flor fluorine, and now you're boiling your, your spaghetti in fluorine. No good. Brain toxin. He's basically telling you the truth. When you take fluoride in water and you boil it, you're changing the chemistry of that chemical, guys. And I was talking to Leslie, our editor for our newsletter. By the way, the September 1st newsletter isn't coming out because we're working on the book. We're finishing it. And we're putting all of our energy into that book, guys. If you would like to help us get this book out to more people and get it advertised properly because we are not monetized on YouTube. You heard me right. I make all these videos and make zero dollars. They refuse to pay us. I do get to reapply September 3rd, but they've denied me twice already. So who knows? If you could send at least one dollar, you guys, we'd be so thankful for your help just showing us that you like these videos and that you're in support of the time and the effort we put into educating people on what is healthy and what is not. So anyway, I was talking to Leslie and I'm like, oh my gosh, Leslie, did you know that if you have fluoride in your water and you boil it, it turns to fluorine? And she was like, no. And I was like, me either. But you know, we all learn something new every single day. So stop using tap water, city water, um, county water to boil food for your family, like to boil and make your noodles. Don't do that. At least use bottled water or get a good filter. Well, folks, I don't want to end my Labor Day video on anything sad and depressing. So let me just show you this clip of this really cute dog and make you smile super big.